Let's go. Welcome to the 22nd episode of Dan Geese and Beats Minecraft. Where we last left off, we had discovered a zombie carrot. Which, a big thanks to Alexis, because I had no clue where that carrot came from. And where's all our... Oh, we put all our stuff in here. Um, so, you guys had did, you guys had mentioned that a zombie carrot is extremely rare. And the best thing to do would be to plant it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, we're going to plant that bad boy after we take a quick rest here. Um, said so there are some... There he is. We knew he was around. We saw him. some monsters nearby. So see so if we can get some shut-eye here. Nice. So, <laughs> the other thing I do want to say is one of the, the highest voted comment uh, from the last episode is from Jeremy, Jeremy Arnold. And what Jeremy said is, watching you play Minecraft is like an abusive relationship. It's so painful, but I keep coming back for more. Uh, I had to laugh about that. Not that abusive relationships are funny, uh, but just that analogy was, was fairly funny. Um... This is going to be another kind of expansion type episode or, you know, uh, progression type episode where we make a few strides forward because another thing is someone gave me a hint on how to make a fishing pole and they said you need three wood and two string and they said look at it as if it was you were already using it. So, there's only so many combinations. I do want to try and make this thing, but fishing pole. Uh, what about diagonal? There it is. Nice. Okay, so this could be another sustainable food source. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do, okay, you guys are, are pretty adamant about filling in these holes, so we're going to fill in these holes, which means we got to go get some dirt. Um, so, this is going to kind of be a semi cleanup, semi user generated one. Uh, we need some. Got to get some redstone at some point to fix that. Because right now, the only way we can get in and out is by destroying our wall. So I want to get some dirt here. Uh, I'll go to the tool chest for that. So, pickaxe. Alright, so... You know, th I guess that's another big thing we got to come up with at some point, is figuring out how to... Someone, a couple, how to make those those doors open. Some people said, Dan, you can do it with pressure plates without redstone. I know you can do it with redstone and a button. I've done that before, not in this playthrough, obviously, but um, we don't have any redstone. So that's going to be a little tough to do. Look at that, the floating wheat. Got to love it. Um, so we are going to fill in this, this back porch here. I'll pick up zombie flesh. You never know. If, if we get to desperate times, we can eat the zombie flesh. Just drop this stuff up there. Let's fill this, this hole up. This is not the first time a bunch of people had mentioned Dan. It's ridiculous. Fill the hole up. I agree. Let's. Uh, it is a kind of a sort patch here in the Chicken Utopia, and it, it is getting clean. It's funny to think though. All, so we're on episode 22, coming back from all the way from episode one. The, the compound has come a long way, and I don't think anyone can deny that the progress has been slow, but there has been progress. Oh, we're gonna be a, we're gonna be a few short of a baker's dozen. Oh no. <laughs> How does this stuff always happen? It just seems to always just... <laughs> How do we get him out of there? We need that wheat, right? <laughs> what a troll. That We should just keep him down there for trolling. Because, I mean, who does that? Like, literally, we're one block away from closing that thing up, and then he trolled us. Unless this is going to be like... Actually, you know what we're going to do? You're going to stay down there. You know, you want to stay down there? What we're going to do then is we're going to... Uh, Make this a, a little glass, a glass hole there for him. So eventually we'll, uh, <laughs> we're going to put, make that all glass. So it's going to kind of be like an under, underground sheep farm because he wants to be trolley. That's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> and this is how you get sidetracked in Minecraft. The whole goal is to fill that hole up and then we just made a new project. But I think that's fitting because he's going to troll. That's what happens to trolls around here. We give them exactly what they want. That's not true either. But, uh... You stay down there, sir. We need to mark this somehow. Let's mark it right here. To be continued. Alright, so we have the that back hole filled up. Oh, the other thing we want to do is we want to plant this carrot. But I want to put it in a very... Since it's rare, 
I want to put it in a nice location. I think this is going to be an area for future expansion, but we do have this troll in there. So we're going to expand the house out this way. And probably this way. So where can we put the carrots? We can make this like a carrot patch down here. Let's do that. So let's go get a... Pick up our zombie carrot here in a, in a hoe. There's our hoe. Let's get the zombie carrot. And uh, we gotta plant this. But it's gotta be near water too. Dang it. Should we put it in there with Chucky? Let's do that for now. Chucky's gonna get the benefit. Alright Chucky. This is just for you sir. That carrot placement. We'll be back to see that grow. Chucky just got a partner too. Alright good, so we planted the carrot. The grass is growing back here. The other thing we can do here is we can hopefully spawn some more uh, cows, even though the mini one's still mini. Spawn yourself, sir. There we go. Is another one going to pop out? Nice! Our food source is growing. Okay, good. So let's, uh, we'll go put this in the perishable container. And, uh, good. I think uh, what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to go see if we can get some fish. Because right now we're definitely struggling for food. And I think the struggle should depend upon, um, not if, not if we can cr create a sustainable food source. But in this episode, if can we catch enough hoping fish to, uh, to get us going here. Look at this. Look how peaceful it is out here. There's so much to explore. There's just so much to explore. All right, let's cast it out there, sir. Now let's see if we can figure out. I'm guessing it's going to bob when, when we need to draw it in. Hopefully. Look at that, squ Mr. Squids. Squid McGee. While we're waiting for this, I do want to answer a, a question uh, by Sean Fitzpatrick. said, Dan, can you define the old college try for us? So, when I, I, I probably mention that every fourth episode or so the old college try i don't know where it came from or what it is but essentially it's like i guess in college you try different things maybe a class and i used to give it the old college try it's you try it once and see what happens like this is not working for us do we have to be in a more open thing come on sir we need some fish okay let's try in a more open area so this should be, uh, I guess maybe it's not deep enough. Oh, look at that little sheep are just doing their thing. Cast it out there, sir. Oh, pull it. It looked like it went down right away. I've never caught a fish before that I'm aware of. Maybe I did in, in the first days of streaming on Twitch. Was That's almost a year ago. As this was the first game I streamed on Twitch and pro really haven't revisited since then in a serious capacity as we are now 22 episodes in. I would love to see that bobber go down, sir. Why is it taking so long? Give it five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Recast it. Bob, sir. Give it 10 seconds. Nice! That fish! That raw fish. This could be a, Let's see if we can pull out maybe five. It didn't take that long. So maybe we recast. Five, four, three, two, one, recast. I wonder what the, how that works. What the odds are in, in terms of how many you got to cast to get a, a bite. Three, two, one. That fishing episode. No action over here. Maybe we have to be in the water. No action. At least we got one fish. I wonder if we cook it, how long it, it's good for. Pull it. Nothing. That patience required to fish. I don't know if we... If there's a way you can make it fish faster, but I don't have the patience for this. 
But when you pull out that fish, it's pretty strong. <laughs> we'll, give, we'll give it a five second count. Five, four, three, two. Give us a bite. Give us a bite, sir. We'll throw three more. If we can put one more in three pulls, I'll be happy with that. Three, two. What's up with that trolling fish? Can we make a better bobber or something? Put like a creeper head on the end of it? I'd like to get one more fish, sir. If you guys have any fishing tips on, on ways to catch fish a lot quicker, that would be super helpful. Um, because I think it is, it's going to be a, a viable food source, but I wouldn't want to depend on this. I'd rather just harvest things and grow things. Like if there's a trick to fishing, like I'm asking for that spoilage because it's getting dark here and we got to get, get back home. Bite, sir. We want one more fish. Come on, come on, come on. Bubbles. Got him. Let's go. Alright, nice. We got three fish. We got to run for it. Marty, we're going to head back. Look at the chicken. Chicken is just... He wants to be a part of the utopia. He doesn't know about it. I'm pretty freaking fired up about... The, look at the... The utopian glass house. It's so good. And you guys had mentioned that carrots are a better source of food than wheat. So I'm looking forward to... Seeing the carrots grow. We're not going to always have them on Chucky, but just because that was the easiest place to plant them for now, that's what we're going to do. Alright, so let's bake this fish. I wonder if it's trout. Nice, we do have steak though, too. Alright, uh, I kind of want to save that, but... Wow, that beef farm is clutch. The only thing is we're going to have to slaughter some more. All right, let's get some eggs here. Let's, uh, carrots are still growing. All right. That first carrot harvest, though. Get out of here, troll. We didn't want that on. He's going to escape the complex. It wouldn't be an episode without a chicken trying to escape here. Come here, sir. Come here. We're going to have to rethink this. I just, uh... I would love to see if there's a way to have the, the eggs automatically get filtered somehow. Look at those trolls. Alright, let's check our fish here. Cooked fish. Nice. See, I told you never did it before. Delicious fish. Um, Alright, let's... Uh, do we have any glass here? Maybe we can start that cage, that underground cage. We do have some glass. Perfect. Let's dig this up a little bit here. He's not too happy with his life. But oh, that's his own doing, though. Let's make it a little trap window for now. Those creepy noises, though. Some, something's behind us. Oh, he can't get to us. Alright, nice. Okay, so that's what that troll sheep gets. I would like to make this a little bit wider here. Go a nine spot for him. There you go, sir. The underground sheep cage. Let's uh, drop this torch here, though, because it is kind of dark. All right, so we're going to let's go clean out our inventory. We're starting to get a viable food source. Once we get, to, I'd say, once we get to. That's perishable. Perishables go in this box. So once we get to about, uh, I'd say, maybe five beef, we'll take some zomb rotten zombie flesh with us. We can, uh, we'll explore. I think that's probably a good deal. So it's, uh, not a big fan of the fishing rod unless it's a really easy way to catch fish, then I'd be down with that. But, uh, let's do what we do here and end the episode with that chicken smash. Let's see how many we got. Come here, sirs. I wish the the uh, the cattle were bred this quickly. Maybe once we get them going here, 
It's like the rich get richer with these eggs. Man, there's so many eggs. Loving it. Alright, here we go. Wow, that was a good stack right there. Fire him up, sir. Nice. I wonder if, should we start, should we start slaughtering some of these chicken? I mean, it's a lot of food. I know, I know, it's just it's so tempting. Look at these guys, though. Get out of here. They all want to run for it since we said that. I know, it's just, I know what you guys are saying, Dan, you can't go back on your word to the chicken utopia. But we gotta get these guys out of here. They're all going, making a run for it. Dang it, how do we get out of here without these guys running? Close it. Two got away. Jerks. We'll get them back in. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Dan Geese and Plays Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The big decision, should we slaughter a few chickens? I'd say no, we've come this far, but if it gets enough upvotes, we'll do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting the like button and also subscribing for new Minecraft videos every single day at 6 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time where we may or may not slaughter chickens. See ya.